We got new pre-registrations, free downloads, new releases, beta tests, and gotcha games that are shutting down. These are all games, these are all titles, these are all topics you're not gonna wanna miss out on. One of these games might be a game you're actively playing. One of these games might be a game you're looking forward to playing. So buckle up and let's just go ahead and jump right in. Let's start off with new pre-registrations first. Assault Lily Last Bullet W has open pre-registration. This is for global, this is not for Japan, China, Korea. Pre-registering is as simple as just navigating on over to your respective platform store and clicking pre-register. Honestly, the game looks pretty cute. Blue Exorcist Alterna Wait has opened their pre-registration. This is for Japan, but that's not going to stop a lot of you. Looking at the quality of the character models, I, I'm not that eager to play it. I'm not that excited for this, but I am still curious because I love the Blue Exorcist anime. You can pre-register for the game by simply navigating on over to their official website. They have links to the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Now let's talk release dates. Light of the Stars confirmed they are officially releasing on April 18th. That is two days from now. Well, as of recording the video, that's one day from now as of this video going live. I received early access to this game. I'm gonna be recording footage for it today in hopes that I have a video ready for the game, ready to go live the day it launches. So you guys know whether you should actually bother investing time into it, playing it. This is global, this is not Japanese, Chinese, or Korean. Now let's talk beta tests. Zenless Zone Zero confirmed that they have distributed keys for their upcoming amplifying test. The amplifying test begins on the 18th of April. The technical test for the PlayStation 5 begins on the 25th of April. Make sure to check your email in case you miss out. Child of the Hidden God to start closed beta in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Macau on April 23rd. This is a 2D dual world supernatural mystery turn-based RPG from the Soul Tide developers. This looks like it's gonna be a Chinese release. Admittedly, I have know nothing about this. Apparently, yeah, so they have kind of like semi chibi character models. They honestly, they, they don't look half bad. Like I'll give them credit here. The, the game itself actually very strongly resembles Soul Tide. Now that I'm looking at these character models in game, yeah, I'm curious though, I'm definitely curious. Fellow Moon is holding a pre-registration and a beta test phase in China right now. This is a side-scrolling action RPG. This is one of the more unique looking, also very beautiful gacha games I've seen. It also employs a like a thir over the shoulder third person turn-based combat as well but you actually like run around horizontally as the side scroller it, it is a beautiful game and i can't wait to actually get to test it Wulong chow is another game that is very similar to what you just saw however where the previous game it was a turn-based rpg this one is not this one is a yes a horizontal side scroller but also an action rpg they are holding a closed beta test for China right now, which means you should expect a global closed beta at some point in the future. The beta test for it began on the 9th. I'm not sure if you can still obtain access to the beta or not. You're gonna have to check that out yourself. Now, before we cover any additional games, let me take a moment here to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon. It will allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day. You guys are phenomenal and I cannot thank you all enough for the support. Now, let's keep talking gotcha. Adventure RPG Heroes of Crown Legends is recruiting for their upcoming closed beta test. This is for the global version. This is not Japanese, Chinese, or Korean. This is a very interesting game that when I Googled it and checked it on stream, actually very strongly resembled League of Legends to me. I'm not entirely sure why. I just got major lull vibes from it. I think it's due to the, the artwork. It just really seems League inspired. Ikemen Villains, a new Ikemen series Otome game, is available for pre download. I guess this should have been earlier in the video because this is a pre download rather than a pre registration or a beta test. I've never heard of this. I have no idea what it looks like. This is an Otome game though. It looks as though you play as a really cute brunette girl and you have all of your very 
attractive husbandos trying to woo you. I'm not sure what kind of gameplay this has. It might be a visual. No, I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I've never actually played a husbando game rather, uh, other than Love and Deep Space, but unfortunately that crashed like 10 minutes into the game on LD player, so it prevented me from actually playing it. Grimlight has announced their end of service, which is very upsetting. This was a game that I actually got to play and I got to cover on this channel like last year sometime as part of my worst gotcha ever series. And I, I, I had fun in it. So it's shocking to see the game actually shutting down. Rather than a complete shutdown though, they have confirmed that they are actually removing their live servers and allowing for players to recap and relive what they've already unlocked and experienced in an offline version of the game, which means that players aren't gonna be locked out of reconsuming what they've already achieved and what they've already unlocked. This is, I think, what most gacha games, or this is what I think all gacha games should do, whereas most gacha games just completely shut down and remove all instances of themselves from the from existence. Tacked Up Symphony has shut down as of just last week, which was kind of sad to see, but at the same time, while I found the game to be beautiful and I found the music to be incredible, that was it. And I thought the game was pretty boring otherwise. So for me, this is not a big issue, but I do know that there were some people out there that really enjoyed the game still. Phantom of the Kill announced an end of service dated for May 27th. That's very recently. Phantom of the Kill looks very pretty from the one single promo image I've seen. It also happened to get 732,000 views, 4,000 likes, almost 3,500 retweets. Could you imagine if all these people were actually playing the game? Yeah, it's just like whenever I do a Tower of Fantasy video, it gets like 50 to 100,000 views. Yet, <laughs> there are a lot of people out there that would strongly argue there aren't even 50 to 100,000 active players in Tower of Fantasy anymore. People would just rather enjoy all of the drama. They'd rather just see a game fail, fall, rather than actually put time and effort into playing it. And that might just be because these games aren't very good and the players are happy and excited to see them finally die. Now that is it for announcements. That is it for pre-downloads, pre-registrations, beta tests, new releases, and shutdowns. We had a lot of games to cover today. And that's just because the gacha genre moves so fast which now that i think about it is actually pretty good because you're never really left bored now if none of these games are of any interest to you though absolutely no problem i got to cover with two different videos on the screen right now that might be more up your alley